Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. In this video, we are going to look at uh, Pi. Pi. So, we are going to look at what is actually Pi. What is Pi? And why do we need Pi? Why do we use Pi? Why do we need? Why do we need? why do we need pi so what is pi and why do we need pi as we have seen from the previous video uh, we have seen that uh, this symbol is given to pi by um, by Leonard Schiller which uh, has been assigned as value or uh, estimated value of 3.14 by Archimedes, so we can say uh, Leo Leonard Hewler, and then this one Archimedes. So the estimated pi, <coughs> and uh, we know that pi is one of the constants. For example, uh, we have pi and. Uh, uh, let me say pi uh, e and we have i as well so what are these what are they what are they so these are basically uh, irrational number these are the numbers which disobey the the normal rule of the number system <coughs> for example if you divide a whole number by uh, uh, any of this number or you divide uh, this number by any of the whole number you will never get the the accurate answer there will always be a remainder that will go endless for example if you divide 22 over 7 you will keep on going forever and that gives us what pi is so these are irrational numbers and uh, one of the irrational numbers that is not included there is actually root of 2 root of 2 is also irrational number and irrational numbers are those numbers that cannot be expressed in fraction so they disobey or they don't follow the normal rule of the number system and we will look into more details uh, when we get uh, to other areas of study in mathematics uh, along the way uh, if you follow my channel you will uh, obviously have a look at this so that is my friend the definition one of the de uh, another definition of pi pi is an irrational number it's a number that uh, that disobey any rules in any number to create its own rule and if you disobey its rule you will get rid of the circle or you will not be able to find major solve major problems in mathematics so pi can be 22 over 7 or uh, uh, 355 over 113 uh, and ex except except because the next one I don't know <laughs> it's very hard to find this kind of value so root of 2 is an exception because ro root of 2 can be uh, a solution to some equation let's say x is equal to root of 2 uh, which implies that uh, if you get the square on both sides you get x square minus 2 you, which is 0 so you can see this equation when you solve it uh, it gives uh, the value of x as being root of 2. So root of 2 can be a solution to equation, but it is in fact an irrational number. So that, my friend, is the definition of pi. Now, is that all? No. Another way of looking at pi uh, is in terms of ratio or frequency analysis whereby you can have the circle the way Archimedes was uh, trying to measure uh, the length of the circle uh, in relation to its uh, si uh, to its uh, to the size of the the polygons in the circle you know there was n there and uh, each angle at the apex of the side of the polygons is actually the total uh, angles in the whole circle divided by the number of the side so Archimedes was trying to estimate uh, pi using the polygon side and uh, 
and the length of the side of the polygon but it was difficult you can imagine during that time they never had anything like uh, trigonometry or Pythagoras theorem or the sine or cosine so they had to use a different method like the, uh, using the sequence of number as we have seen in the previous video briefly but uh, but that was uh, the way he uh, actually tried they tried to assign uh, to estimate the pi but we want to know what pi is in terms of circle so when you have many of these uh, uh, many of the sides of the of the polygon which is found inside the circle of this is assumed to be like a regular polygon you will get to a point whereby uh, the more sides you get the more circular the shape of the circle will be so the curve along the circle is called the circumference of the circle which is given as 2 pi r and from here my friend we can derive our pi as well uh, using frequency analysis so pi uh, can be equal to uh, let's see if we get 2 pi r from the circumference divide both sides by 2 r by 2 r we cancel that and then we will left with pi which gives us a circumference of circle over over 2 to r so this means that pi actually is equal to the circumference of the circle divided by its uh, its uh, diameter so this is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to the diameter because the distance between uh, one side of the circle this distance here is the diameter because the radius is there the radius is there adding the two gives us the diameter which is 2r so pi is equal to the circumference of the circle over divided by the distance but what does this mean what does it mean what does this one mean really so this this circumference of the circle as the ratio of its diameter is actually how many times the diameter can go into the circumference so that we have a complete circle for example we have a circle here how many times can we put this diameter all around the circle so that we obtain enclosed circle now if we take for example let's say we take one side of the diameter there say d1 and then another one there say d2 and then from there to there let's say d3 why are we ending at d3 because when you divide the, uh, the the estimated value of pi is 22 over 7 or uh, 3.14 so when you look at it in terms of circle we have like 3.14 as the value of pi now this 3 could be the number of times the diameter goes into the circumference so that we have a gap here we have some gap left here and my friend this gap here is what is where we need the constant to complete the circle because if we don't have anything here if we leave the gap like that this circle will not be complete and the circle will not exist because circle is an enclosed surface which is continuous uh, uh, so that's why from here this 3 is a whole number but pi is not a whole number pi is completely irrational number which means the number which does not end it keeps on going 4.159 uh, something something it keeps on going endlessly which means we need to fill this gap of the circle in order to make the circle complete and my friend that 0 0.14 something something is necessary as a constant for us to fill this gap so that we have our complete circle and that my friend is the reason why we need pi we need pi in order to complete the circle and we need pi to maintain the integrity of the circle the moment the moment you eliminate pi the circle will be meaningless and that's why you cannot do without pi in any circle ellipse or even sphere and cylinder any circular kind of surface 
you need pi when you're working uh, with the areas of the circle or you're trying to find the circumference of the circle that's why pi is equal to the circumference of the circle the ratio of the circumference of the circle to each diameter i hope this video has been informative for you and thank you for viewing i'll see you next in the next video as we continue with our journey to the circle